if you think about um, the security architecture of a continent like Europe with several different nation states, it's clear that if you want to provide security collectively, your sovereignty is at stake. NATO, for quite a few years, uh, has allowed Europe to um, avoid the cost in terms of sovereignty of providing security by basically uh, allocating to a third institution, uh, NATO, the provision of security in Europe. But um, the war in Ukraine has shown both that the uh, current system of security in Europe was not enough to provide security outside European borders, and also that uh, the provision of security uh, on the European continent cannot rely so heavily on a single partner as it is at the moment. Uh, we have been following the dependency of Ukraine on US armaments, for instance. Europe can only do up to a little point so far because we simply do not have the capabilities or the institutions to replace the key role of the United States. To address this, uh, it's my opinion that it is important for European Union to reconsider its cooperation in defense and proceed with a substantially higher level of pooling um, of sovereignty in defense, both in terms of capabilities uh, but also in terms of decision making and institutions. The way the European Union works at the moment, both in defense and on uh, foreign policy, attributes an enormous power to individual member states which can at will veto any decision. So one of the key issues uh, in the reform of the European Union is not just creating new European capabilities, but also creating new ways of achieving decisions by removing national vetoes.